Wondering how to look after your calathea to keep it looking its absolute best? Today I've got some great information and top tips to do just that. Hi everyone. Calatheas are stunning and varied. Whether it's the long, velvety leaves of this Calathea rufibarba, the wide, glossy pinstripe leaves of Ornata, or the pale, lush leaves of Orbifolia, they are truly standout houseplants. But they're a species that people can often find just that little bit tricky. So here are my top tips to help your Calathea flourish. Unlike houseplants such as the ZZ plant or the snake plant, calatheas are going to require just a little bit more of your attention to maintain their beauty. But don't worry, that doesn't mean that caring for them is difficult. With any houseplant, just imagine what its natural habitat is like and aim to replicate that as closely as possible in your own home. Think about where your plant comes from. Calatheas hail from the South American jungles, so let's talk light water and humidity. They're plants that love lots of light, but at the same time not too strong, just as it would be in a jungle or a forest. So don't be placing your calathea on a sunny windowsill, because that'll be just a little bit too much of a good thing for it. Instead, pick a nice bright spot in your home away from direct light and it's going to thrive. When it comes to watering, moderation is your secret weapon. Calatheas don't want to dry out, but equally they don't enjoy being waterlogged. So aim to keep the soil lightly moist, but not wet. If you're ever uncertain, just test the soil with your finger. And if some still sticks to your finger, you probably don't need to be reaching for that watering can just yet. Calatheas can actually close up their leaves at night. So if you notice them doing this, don't panic. They're clever plants and it's completely normal. Now, sometimes you might also notice just a little bit of browning on the edges of the leaves. This can be caused by chemicals in mains water. You love your calathea, so treat it well and treat it to some distilled or rainwater to keep these leaves looking perfect. And finally, humidity. Calatheas don't appreciate overly dry environments, so keep them well away from radiators, drafts from doors or windows, or rooms that get very dry. If you think that you need to add that extra little bit of humidity, you can simply set a small saucer of water next to your calathea, and as it evaporates, it'll create the perfect microclimate for it. You see, looking after your calathea really isn't that difficult after all. A little bit of extra care when it comes to light levels, watering and humidity will ensure that you have calatheas that are the envy of your friends.